Pleasure 
just like. If you take a pot of milk and rice and heat it, then both become heated simultaneously. So, in the same way, bodily pains and pleasures are certainly felt by the mind, senses, and soul. How can the soul be completely free from this conditioning? I don't understand. My dear King, you are, you are, although you are not experienced at all, you are speaking as if you are a learned man. The relationship between the master and the servant and material pains and pleasures are all simply external. When a person wakes up, everything he dreamt is forgotten. It is false. Similarly, one eventually realizes that taking birth on this planet or in the higher planets as a human being, as a demigod, as an animal or bird, all these things only bring insignificant material happiness. According to the consciousness of the mind, one takes birth in higher or lower species. When the mind is contaminated by the three modes of material nature, goodness, passion and ignorance, it is simply like an independent, uncontrolled elephant, <coughs> absorbed in sense gratification and causing endless suffering. Due to the false ego, absorbed in the illusion of I, me and mine, the mind becomes affected by disease, lamentation, attachment, illusion, greed and enmity. And thus, one becomes more and more entangled in the material world. However, when the mind becomes unattached, the mind becomes the cause of liberation. When the flame of the lamp lights the wick improperly, the wick becomes blackened. However, when it, when it is filled with ghee, the lamp shines brightly. Similarly, when the mind is absorbed in material sense gratification, it only brings suffering. But when it is uh, unattached, it brings about joy and brilliance of Krishna consciousness. The uncontrolled mind is the greatest enemy of the living entity. If we neglect it, it will become more and more powerful and become victorious. Although it is not factual, it is very strong. It covers the constitutional position of the living entity. The Supreme Lord Narayan is full of all potencies. He is the all-pervading cause of the whole creation and the shelter for all living entities. By his potency, he resides in the hearts of all, directing the wanderings of all living entities. King Raghugana then went on to ask more and more questions. Jadabharat instructed him on the futility of material enjoyment and the prime necessity of engaging in devotional service to the Supreme Lord, Sri Krishna. He then went on to tell him about his own path to self-realization throughout his three previous births and how he was liberated from the clutches of Maya. My dear King Ravubana, you are a victim of the external energy. I advise you that you should at once give up your kingly position and your attachment to sense objects with the sword of transcendental knowledge and devotional service to the spiritual master and to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Then you will be able to cut the knot of material attachment and cross over this ocean of material
material possessions. This birth as a human being is the best of all. What is the use of an exalted position of a demigod if there is no possibility of associating with pure devotees? Just by being covered by the dust of your lotus feet, one is immediately gets pure emotional service to a doctor. By associating with you, simply for one moment, I've become free from all doubts and false prestige, which are the root of all entanglement in this material world. I offer my respectful obeisances unto all the great personalities, whether they wander on this earth as children, young boys, abadus, or learned brahmanas. By their mercy, may there be good fortune for the royal dynasties who are always offending them. Maharaj Raghuganand had been bitten by the serpent of ignorance, but was cured by the nectarian words of his saintly personality, Jadabharat. He thus gave up his bodily conception of life and became completely self-realized. Jadabharat then began to wander freely all over the earth, just as before, absorbed in thoughts of the Supreme Lord. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Uh, helped out 
within uh, uh, his deputy is Amakrishna Prabhu and Rajavar Prabhu. And uh, the other team that was helping Rajman Prabhu also was uh, Balaram Prabhu. Natavar Prabhu and the family, Raghunath and family. Please, uh, when the announce the name, you can stand up, it would be nice. And also, and also, Charumuki and Dilawati. Also, few others that has been also helping uh, in this whole prashadam area. So, on behalf of Shri Guru, he wants to thank the whole team. And also, one more one more person was uh, Murali uh, Raman Bihari Prabhu and his wife. Please stand up, Raman Bihari and. The next area is um, I want to thank a um, very very important area also in where she had gone out of the way so much to handle all people's requests in accommodation and um, getting many calls from all over the world and also from local she had uh, had to be so much patient and we want to thank Krishna Priya Dhanji. And uh, just to inform that she also took charge of handling the transportation for devotees to come here and for back to Kuala Lumpur and also some ground arrangements. And uh, she single-handedly handled this whole area of accommodation and transport. So thank you. <laughs> Moving on to the next area, as we can see, the very beautiful uh, decoration that is being laid out here uh, with the Vyasasan and also the altar and all flower and decoration arrangements uh, was done by Savitri Didi. So please give a <laughs> so we have Savitri Didi. And also, not forgetting, not Gurudev wants you to stand up. And not, not forgetting the backbone of Savitri Didi is Nanda Prabhu. <laughs> and many places and uh, he had accompanied me to all these places and we want to thank him so much for his contribution for this festival. Thank you. <laughs> and moving on to the next area is uh, Bala Krishna Prabhu. Sound and light. Please <laughs> has been made to bring all this uh, sound and light system so and also he has been partly involved in the drama play uh, being the man behind this whole drama so please give a hand to <laughs> Our 
Um, not forgetting, this whole festival is also broadcast live throughout the world, and he has also been assisting in, in this whole broadcast. Of course, Shamlin, Shamalam Didi is uh, his uh, team, or is um, is also is the main Mahaprabhu and uh, Vashanti. Isa Prabhu, that, who has been involved in this whole live broadcasting around the world. So we want to thank the team. And also, we had a very great festival on the uh, 24th of this month, uh, the Shoba Yatra festival that was held in Jehovah We had a very uh, wonderful event there. So many people had turned out. Uh, he had brought in all the public and also some politicians coming to this festival, organizing dance, dance performance, organizing this whole Shobayatra card procession, um, organizing this uh, uh, this card where uh, Jagannath Baladev and Subhadra and Shila Prabhupada and Shila Gurudev was taken in this whole vicinity of uh, Skudai Baru. So we want to thank him. Uh, person is Ram Vijay Prabhu. Thank you. So finally, we want to thank Srila Gurudev for coming here and helping, giving us this opportunity to serve this festival. If no money problem or any other problem, you should try to come to Nobati for seven days. Go, Prima.